You guys want to be in a video? Hey, what's up, YouTube? My name's Hippo TC, and I'm going to give you my unfiltered thoughts on Season 10 for Sea of Thieves. So hold on to your butts, because let's get into it. All right, so my initial thoughts, as you can see by this video I'm about to show you of my face, was quite in the shock of obviously the thing that we all need to talk about first, which is the safer seas. This, at first, upon hearing it, I was shocked, appalled. Sea of Thieves, you lied to me. You told me that there would never be PvE servers, and here we are, safer seas. I was upset, disappointed, hurt, crushed. I was feeling a lot of emotions. But then, as the news sat in a little bit more, and I thought about it a little bit longer, I thought to myself, you know what? I actually think this is a great thing. Now, let me let me explain why. Now, everyone's going to agree with me, but that's fine. That's what we have discussion for. I would say the reason that Safer Seas is probably going to be a net positive for Sea of Thieves is simply this. There is going to be a player base that will never play the PvP side without getting first addicted to the PvE side. Let me break this down for you. There are players out there that have been spawn camped by sweat lords, toxically bucketed and called trash. Those people, freshly into the Sea of Thieves, were greeted by them, or hackers, let's be honest, or hackers, were greeted by them in a rude way. They're like, this is what this game is like, and they immediately closed it down and never played it again. But if they had a place where they could maybe experiment and learn the game in their own way without having to interact with any other crew with the limited amount of treasure, unlimited amount of rep to be able to get. Now, I don't necessarily agree with the levels from Safer Seas. I think it should be lower, um, and I don't think you should be able to get any accommodations or anything like that. Literally, just it's like a training ground for people, kind of like World Warcraft, the beginning area. But... That being said, think of it like this. You had 10 people quit the game because they got absolutely dunked on by some sweat lord god out there, TDM, or microwaving their macaroni and cheese, drinking Mountain Dew game fuel, dunking on a new player that just loaded in after they finished the maiden voyage. That's what they did. You had 10 of those, okay? They hear this news about, oh, there's safer seas. Is that kind of like a PvE server? Yeah, kind of. Kind of like dis discount. It's Sea of Thieves light. It's clever. It's clever. You got to give Rare the credit where credit is due. Because they are a bunch of thieving pirates. And they thought to themselves, how the heck do we get someone to back in, get, get them back into the seas? You do that by getting them addicted to the game. So they made safer seas for those people. The people that might want to set sail with their kids. Maybe they don't. Maybe you don't want to set sail and, and encounter a bunch of crazy people out there that will call your kids something nasty. As a dad, I completely relate to that. It can be a place, I think, for people to fall in love with the game. Maybe someone who's been turned away. I think that's kind of what the game is for, or that game mode, that new game mode, Safe for Seas. I think that's what it's for. Because if you look at it from the perspective of ten people that completely wrote off Sea of Thieves. Hearing the news that Safer Seas is a thing for them, they're like, man, I might give that game a try again. Then you get them addicted to the to the game itself. They learn how to do the basics of the game, and they can kind of do all of that. And they're like, you know what? I'm ready to become a pirate legend. Let's do it. Then they jump over to the high seas, and all of a sudden, these pirates that maybe once were turned away are falling in love with this game that we all love. Now, there are a bunch of you scurvy dogs. You know who you are. Yeah, I'm talking to you. You know who you are. It, you don't need no safer seas. You're like me. I jumped right in. The best part of the game is the shared world experience. I want that. I crave that. I need more of it. That's all I want. If they launched, if I started playing today with safer seas, I would still choose the not safe route. Because at the core of who I am, I'm a crazy psycho pirate, man, that likes to blow people up. And if I can't blow people up, then I'm not wasting my time playing that. So, if you're out there and you're complaining or you're upset or you're pissed or some odd thing, you know what? At the end of the day, more players into the Sea of Thieves, probably good for us. We need more pirates out there. 
And, and all you sweat lords that are still dunking on new players. Shame on you. Put your hand out. No. Stop it. Okay. It's your fault. We got safe for seas. Let's be honest about this community. Can we all agree collectively that the reason that there are safer seas now is because a bunch of TDMer, sweat lord, microwave, macaroni and cheese, gosh darn Mountain Dew game fuel drinking, living in your basement pirates just were sitting there dunking on maiden voyagers or like, oh, they're doing a top tail. Let's destroy them. It's your fault we got safer seas. So I can only blame one person one group of people and it's you so if we're gonna be angry at anybody be angry at them because they suck you shouldn't spawn camp for no reason okay you spawn camp to secure the sink that's not called spawn camping that's called securing the sink now let's talk about the other stuff guilds kind of cool not exactly sure how that's all gonna work but it looks fun sounds fun you know being able to play with my buddies having a bolder bro family of guilds sounds awesome I don't know how exactly it's gonna work within the seas, but hey, guilds, cool. And now let's get to the meat and the potatoes of everything that we love, competitive voyage. What the hell is that? That looks awesome. You're telling me that we can go out and fight people to death? You're telling me that there's going to be a way to bring a, a, a chest and a key together to get some weird crazy skull that can melt people with water? What kind of water are you shooting at people? That this thing is cursed that'll slow your boat down so all you scurvy dogs can't get away. But let's be honest about something really quick. Brig, still gonna be out faster than all of us. It's, it's still the most ridiculous ship in the game. I think we can all agree with that. It's ridiculous. It's so fast. Stop it. Brigs suck. They suck. A brig slowed down with the curse from this new voyage is probably as fast as a sloop with full wind into the wind. You know what I mean? It doesn't have to make sense. Don't think about it too much. But that's what it is. Looks fun. I'm really excited to try it out. Honestly, I'm really excited for all the little things. One thing I hope and I pray that we get that they're just not telling us yet. They're just telling us the headline features. My hope and prayer for Sea of Thieves is they take a really good, honest look at what the game that we have is now and we improve upon it. You hear me say this all the time on Twitch, all the time in streams. We have an incredible game right now on our hands. All we need is a little bit of tweaks, a little bit of tweaks with Hourglass, a little bit of tweaks with the adventure, and we got an incredible game. There's a lot of stuff I would change with Hourglass. I still think Hourglass is an incredible thing, but let me just drop a little nugget of thought into your brain hole. What if we could do Guild War, Guild Fighting? What if we could queue up three of our best against another guild and then all of a sudden us three we get to fight each other in some cool ass map one day in the future that would be kind of awesome hourglass has so much potential it blows my mind and i hope i hope and pray that in the future maybe season 11 we get an update to hourglass something that would deliver pvp on demand something that would deliver maybe take you into a new world kind of like arena like if arena and hourglass had a baby like a beautiful baby that could be what hourglass would be one day the battle for sea of thieves now those are my thoughts for season 10 let me know what you guys think in the comments below and uh yeah i'm excited i'm hopeful now it could be the worst season of all kind and completely kill the game forever or it genuinely could be one of the best seasons see if these will ever see and the new safer seas could be a retention uh kind of way like a strategy to bring players that was so that wrote off sea of thieves bring them back into the fold get them excited about the game get them invested into the game get them invested in the lore and then bring them on over to the actual game which is sea of thieves much love everybody thanks for watching the video and hell if you like that go ahead and hit that subscribe button it really means a lot to me when you do that help me defeat the youtube overlords